All right, Grim. Um, tough elimination. 0-2 against FaZe in a game that seemed like, you know, on paper it was potentially winnable. Um, going from 2-0 to 2-3, to I mean, obviously that has to hurt. Yeah, it definitely hurts. Um, obviously the road is very hard for us, but that's no excuse. But, um, yeah, it definitely hurts. Starting up 2-0, you know, um, we had three chances to make it, and we fell through in all of them. We got kind of obliterated by Mounds, and then Vitality but actually stood a really good chance, and we should have took that game with uh, some small mix six, you know, and some things go our way, we would have won that game. And then today it felt like we were coming back on Nuke, um, and then – we just got blown out of proportion on T side. Um, I'd say that they, uh, on overpass, they were reading us really well, and uh, they had a bunch of good rotates, and they were always stacked where we were going. And yeah, they, they were just beating us to the punch, basically. And uh, yeah, it sucks to go out in this fashion. It seems like it was already going to be a tough road ahead just because of the, the vetoes and the maps didn't necessarily match up super well for you guys. Um, we expected all three of those maps. Uh, we knew we were going to pick overpass, and we didn't know exactly their pick, but we figured it would be like Nuke Ancient, one of those two. But um, we knew we'd get one of the other maps to be third map. So I'd say the veto went as expected, and we were prepped as we could be for this game. But yeah, um, they just played better straight up. I mean, obviously now there's going to be a lot of questions about this complexity team having gone 2-0 to 2-3. Do you feel like there should be questions about this team and what you're able to accomplish? Um, I'd say we're definitely making progress and steps in the right direction. We had a really good boot camp and we showed uh, a lot of good things here, honestly. We shouldn't be too down about ourselves. Like, yeah, the Mouse game kind of sucked for us, but besides that, I think we showed um, like really good against these caliber teams. And, you know, like I said, another day, another, uh, like not making some small mistakes. We could have definitely came out on top against Vitality, but in the Royal Arena. So I think there's a lot to uh, improve on, obviously, but there's definitely a lot to take away that's good and positive for us. In my opinion. I mean, coming to a major, this was probably the furthest that you guys have gone as a squad. Do you take any pride kind of in that accomplishment? I'd say so. It's definitely um, the first we've been. I think um, since I've joined Complexity in 2022, the max we have made has been the stage before us, I think the Challenger stage. So coming to the Legends and uh, doing having a 2-0 start at the Legends uh, is definitely a step in the right direction, in my opinion. And yeah, like I said, there's lots of good and bad takeaways. Now, I kind of want to talk a little bit about that game uh, on overpass. Brokey, and I think uh, I might have been another player, had two you know, incredible clutches and scenarios there. Are you, that seems to be a, a tough situation for you guys, is having these man advantages and, and losing them. Is that something you're going to be focusing on in the weeks ahead? Um, I'd say, yeah, we could definitely review and see some of the individual plays that could have been differently. But, um, you know, in the moment, nothing's really clear of, like, what the right play is. But obviously, when you watch it back, you know, my like, oh, I on this. But I think um, we've actually improved in our clutches, I think, uh, this event because uh, I feel like we had a ton of good clutches against Vitality. You know, Ricky's always had a bunch of good clutches. Um, I've had some on Vertigo. I think um, clutches has actually been, like, our biggest weakness. But I think, uh, at least from my opinion, we've actually improved on that aspect uh, this event. And then also talking about, you know, economic advantages that you guys has of, have as well. It seems that Complexity have a little bit of a curse losing to Pistols a few times. Is, is that something that you guys have been bothered by? Um... You know, I'd say not really. Uh, sometimes it's just like a gamble, you know, like especially on Nuke. Uh, it's like, it's like, well, you can go ramp under three there or you can go up under three there. So it's hard to really pick out exactly uh, where they are. But um, as long as you do the right things, you know, it, it shouldn't really matter if they're stacked. So at the end of the day, it's always on us um, and our fault for losing, obviously. But yeah, in my opinion, like if you do a proper exec or like do everything right, even if they are stacked in a bomb site, even with guns, doesn't even have to be pistols, that you'll win. But yeah, if some small things go wrong or like you don't expect someone somewhere and then get shot in the side and the comms get chaos, like yeah, we could definitely, uh, those uh, pistol rounds could fly out of hand real quick. And, you know, it just, it seems like an overall tough way for Complex to have gone out. Many fans just were kind of hoping one BO3 to go through. What do you say to fans that are kind of looking for, you know, I don't know, answers to what might have gone wrong over these last three BO3s? Um, I just say thank you for all the support, first off, because I see it all the time in um, the Twitter DMs, you know, uh, not DMs, you know, messages, replies, rather. Um, I'd say that, yeah, this is definitely our best shot at making the playoffs, and we unfortunately didn't fall through. But I definitely think, uh, appreciate it to keep all the support coming, because I think there's a lot of good takeaways, like I said, and I think it's a matter of time before we uh, take one of these games over the line um, and, yeah, actually do make the playoffs at the major. So I'd say just try to hang in there. Thank you for everything so far. And looking forward in towards the next major, Shanghai, you guys are automatically going to have a place in the RMR. So there's no open qualifiers for you guys this time. What are you looking to do at the next major? Is it the hoping to 
again, get another legend spot, which there might not be one for the Americas? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, if we qualify for a major, we could definitely make the legend stage. But um, I'd say, like, um, I like to take things about one step at a time and not have too many crazy expectations going into things. Um, obviously, realistic expectations are good, but I like to just start with, like, first making the major and then making the next stage and stuff like that. I like to stay grounded a little bit, but I say as a team, uh, we definitely would like to reach the playoffs, especially because we were so close this time. And, yeah, it definitely helps that there are seven spots and we go straight to our mark because, you know, as everyone knows, the first schedule, uh, you know, any little week off helps. Um, so... Um, yeah, I definitely think uh, glad the Brazilian teams did so well for our region, and yeah, definitely making the playoffs would be great because we were so close to tasting it here. So yeah. All right, Graham, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you.